Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday delivered a speech at the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties. His Royal Highness highlighted the global challenges posed by climate change and the importance of developing innovative, sustainable technology solutions to achieve global climate security. He noted Bahrain's commitment to global climate goals and the shared responsibility of the international community to ensure a green future for all. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday met with the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the United Kingdom, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Bandar bin Sultan bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud at the Saudi Pavilion on the sidelines of the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the historic bilateral ties which received the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He noted that Bahrain is committed to further coordination with Saudi Arabia following the positive outcomes of the Middle East Green Initiative Summit to progress environmental security. Regional and international issues of common interest were reviewed, and the latest environmental developments and areas of bilateral cooperation between the two countries were also discussed. His Royal Highness Prince Khalid expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness for his support to furthering the bilateral relations to achieve further growth and prosperity for all. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday visited the UAE Pavilion at the 26th UN Climate Change Conference where he met with the UAE Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology and Special Envoy for Climate Change Dr. Sultan bin Ahmed Al Jabbar. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the long-standing bilateral relations that continued to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He commended the UAE's participation in the conference and its ambitious initiatives aimed at enhancing international cooperation in order to achieve global environmental security. His Royal Highness wished the President of the UAE and its people continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday met with the Minister for Middle East and North Africa at the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, the Right Honorary James Cleverly, on the sidelines of the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the historic Bahraini-UK ties that continue to be bolstered by joint cooperation and coordination in many areas of international importance. He emphasized the Kingdom's commitment to joining international efforts aimed at enhancing environmental security security and cooperation with the UN and other multilateral organizations. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed at the meeting. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited Al Maamir and in Waidrat clubs in the presence of the CEO of the GSA, Dr. Abdul Rahman Asker. His Highness met with the President of Al Maamir Club, Radhi Aman, and the President of Al Waidrat Club, Hamad Ismail, as well as a number of both clubs' members. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts of Al Maamir and Al Waidrat clubs in serving the sports sector expressing aspiration to increase efforts to develop the sports system, wishing them further success. His Highness then listened to a briefing from the President regarding their future plans that aim to develop the sports sector of the Kingdom. He praised the comprehensive development of the future vision that contributes to the progress of sports and enhanced the Kingdom's position in international sports. The club's presidents expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his visit, which reflects His Highness's keenness to enhance communication for the development of the clubs.
Under the patronage of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the GSA, in cooperation with the Nasser Vocational Training Center and the AI Global Company, organized the Bahrain International Conference for AI in Sports remotely with the participation of 200 participants from 21 countries. His Highness delivered a speech in which he shed light on the positive impacts of AI and expressed hope that this conference will achieve the desired goals that will help in developing the sports system in Bahrain. He affirmed keenness to include AI in various initiatives that enhance the efforts that are in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to achieve sustainability and develop many fields, especially the sports. His Highness noted that the rapid steps the world is witnessing to use AI reflects the distinguished results achieved by the scientific revolution in many industries. His Highness commended the great efforts made by the GSA in cooperation and coordination with the Nasser Vocational Training Center and the artificial intelligence global company in preparing the conference. The conference discussed the steps taken by the GSA to include AI as an effective tool in developing administrative work and technical performance in the sports field. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam Khalaf, participated in the 16th edition of the Conference of the Regional Committee for Middle East of the World Organization for Animal Health. The Minister delivered a speech in which he stressed that the conference was and still is one of the platforms through which OIE works in order to improve the level of animal health around the world and raise the efficiency of combating animal diseases at the global level. He noted that the Kingdom has long been aware of the importance of achieving a sustainable level of food security, which is in line with the directives of His Majesty the King through the Strategic Project for National Food Production. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, inaugurated the Social Dialogue in Times of Crises Conference, organized by the General Federation of Workers Trade Unions in Bahrain in cooperation with the International Labor Organization. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain always seeks to enhance social dialogue, especially on the labor level. He pointed out that despite the impacts of the pandemic, the government, workers and employers have proved their keenness to carry on tripartite coordination. The minister also reviewed the efforts exerted by the government to confront the challenges resulting from COVID-19, placing the kingdom among leading countries in precautionary health, social and economic measures. He highlighted the economic recovery plan endorsed by the cabinet recently, which affirms the government's keenness to support labor and business owners. The minister expressed hope that the conference will generate positive outcomes on the improving the labor market system. Under the patronage of the Minister of Health, Faiq al-Saleh, a celebration was held on the occasion of Bahraini Doctors' Day in the presence of various officials and the participation of guests and doctors. The celebrations come to mark the efforts of frontline medical staff as well as to recognize outstanding Bahraini doctors in the therapeutic and medical research fields to highlight their continued sacrifices for the health and well-being of citizens and residents. The Kingdom of Bahrain announced last year that it will celebrate Bahraini Doctors' Day on the first Wednesday of November of every year. The Minister of Information, Ali Rumehi, chaired the second meeting of the Permanent Committee of the Gulf Radio and Television Festival, which was held in the presence of Director General of the Gulf Radio and Television Organization, Majri bin Mbarak al Gahtani, and representatives of the GCC member states. It was agreed during the meeting to hold the 15th edition of the festival in Bahrain in 2022. The festival's agenda was also discussed along initiatives that will be included in the event. The Minister affirmed the importance of the festival as a Gulf gathering to celebrate creativity in the media field. He also stressed the significance of the festival in unifying media visions at the level of the Arab Gulf, celebrating excellence in the radio and television fields and honoring the youth for their creativity in this vital domain. He wished the officials in charge of the festival every success in organizing the event. 
The National Space Science Agency participated in a research paper in the 72nd International Astronautical Conference, which was held in Dubai, as an, in an effort to enhance international cooperation in the field of scientific research and innovation. The research paper focused on a Bahraini innovation in the field of space represented in the application of software for the control system and directional determination of cubic satellites using an electronic chip known as FPGA. The algorithm used is characterized by its high accuracy in determining the direction and rotational speed of the satellite. This participation allowed the members of the agency to learn about the latest technologies and innovative solutions used in the field of space sciences, which contributes to the transfer of this knowledge and its application in future projects of the agency. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain condemns the terrorist attack of the Houthi militia on Jazan, Saudi Arabia, confirming that such attacks are violations and from form a threat to the safety of people and facilities. The ministry praised the Saudi Air Forces for intercepting the attack and foiling it. It affirmed Bahrain's firm stance towards Saudi Arabia and its support to all measures taken to ensure Saudi Arabia's security and stability.